can you just tell us what is it about negative interest rate policy that you think it does exacerbate inequalities? Well, let me first and foremost stress that um, uh, a cognitive monetary policy has supported the economy big time over the last many years. And there's a positive effect of on uh, employment all, and this uh, positive effect is strongest for low-income households. So that is the main result. That said, of course, it, uh, the result in, in different countries vary simply because of structures. And uh, what we have found in Denmark is that uh, uh, we are a little bit different simply because of structures. Uh, we have a, a quite well well-known and well-built social uh, security net and uh, so the the gains from low income households going from unemployment benefits or uh, or other kind of social benefits to employment is not that strong that it is in many other countries so that is one of the reasons why we are a little bit different the second is that okay. in our country debt is debt is a luxury good so if we lower interest rates it is uh, those uh, benefiting the most uh, are high-income households. OK, and so you, you've been very careful to point out the ways that maybe Denmark has its own experience here, Lars, which is interesting. I wonder, do you draw a distinction when you're critical of the impact of negative interest rates on income inequality? Do you draw a distinction between negative interest rates and other forms of loose monetary policy like quantitative easing? What's your thinking on that? First and foremost, I would like to stress that central banks should stick to their mandates. And uh, in mo most countries, this mandate is either uh, infl inflation targeting or dual mandate, like in the US. And uh, it, of course, it means that uh, this, uh, these side effects on in inequality is much better uh, dealt with by other uh, policy instruments tax policies uh, and the like. Uh, so uh, I would be very re reluctant to have, uh, for example, a, a mandate for a central bank, unelected central bankers should be very aware of, of, of course, of the impact of their, of their decisions, but stick to their mandates. Lars, I find these open insights very, f absolutely fascinating. What other unexpected side effects have you seen from your long period of having negative interest rates? Well, there's no doubt that uh, neg uh, low interest rate for long or lower for longer has an impact on asset prices. So maybe you, uh, you try to, in our case, to, we have a, a mandate picking the, the Danish corona through the euro and the euro area have had a uh, uh, low for long simply to keep inflation up uh, to stick to their mandate and uh, therefore we have the side effects uh, have been that they have supported the the economy in general but also supported asset prices so we have had maybe not so much uh, inflation but higher inflation that we would otherwise have had uh, due to uh, QE and uh, the very low interest rates, but also this has stimulated asset prices in general. You've been very careful to use the word asset course. prices. You've used the word asset prices very carefully there, but how worried are you specifically by a potential housing bubble in Denmark? Well, I think uh, that is one, one, uh, one issue we are following very, very closely. Uh, it, it could be, <clears throat> it could be a, 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 a threat to financial and economic stability in the future. Uh, a runaway house prices have historically been one of the key factors behind financial and economic instability in, in this country. And that is one of the reasons why we are also looking into what could be done to dampen uh, the price uh, development in the housing market. Uh, Governor, we've talked about negative interest rates, and I wonder if you think the limits of negative interest rates are 
economic or political. I'm aware that in Copenhagen there's been some controversy, political controversy, over um, the level of savings after which you have to start paying interest to hold them at the bank, and that has politically been controversial. So are the limits of negative interest rate uh, policy turning out to be political? What, what's your view on what brings this to an end? Uh, I, our um, take on this is that uh, the interest rate, the level of interest rate, uh, is a case that uh, is between the, the bank and, and the customers. Uh, and uh, I would be very reluctant to uh, have any kind of interference in, in, on, on this. And that is one, one point. The second point is that having a, ne a negative real interest rate uh, confronting households is not a new, uh, new thing. If going back in history, most of the time uh, households have been confronted with negative uh, real rates. Uh, but it is, of course, a new thing that uh, it is also, uh, in nominal terms, negative. Uh, so, yes, it has an impact. And um, seen from a, a narrow monetary policy uh, point of view, uh, it is enhancing the uh, transmission mechanism from, from uh, policy rates to, to the real economy. So uh, it's a little bit difficult to criticize that. Uh, but uh, again, there's, there are some um, boundaries, more psychological uh, uh, issues, and it is uh, in monetary terms. You should also be aware that uh, it is only uh, in uh, for the next or of only in the last couple of months or uh, half years we have seen negative interest rate for ordinary people. Swiveling slightly, do you see the rise of trading in cryptocurrencies as a serious economic threat? And is it something central banks should take seriously? Or can they kind of largely continue to ignore it? Well, I could uh, uh, be uh, tempted to ignore it. Uh, I think the, 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 the term currency is, uh, um, is badly used here. Uh, most currencies are... Uh, store values uh, or means of uh, or transactions, and uh, there are no stability, no uh, no guarantee from any uh, about the value of, uh, of cryptocurrencies. So uh, it is a very spe speculative asset at best. You say it's a speculative asset. Do you think central banks in general, uh, Governor, will be taking action to try and? reduce the rivalry, perhaps, that they might feel at the margin from cryptocurrencies, even though you say it's not a currency? Uh, at present, no. I don't think that is uh, an issue. What uh, is much, in my opinion, much more interesting is if uh, big tech are invading the currency area or the transaction um, means, that could be very, very interesting, and maybe also uh, a, a real threat to um, to um, the autonomy and the independence of, of central banks.